Let us consider the two achievement outcomes shown on the slide that relates to fractions at progression step 3. The first statement about understanding that a fraction can have different meanings is a rich area for students' misconceptions. Let us consider a number line going from 0 to 100. Consider for a few seconds now where you would place a half on this number line. If you thought 50, then you are thinking of a half as an operator. You calculated a half of 100, which is equal to 50. However, when we place a half on the number line, then on this scale a half, or 0 0.5, should go around here. This is thinking of the half as a number and not as an operator. And we shouldn't be scared to delve deeper into the meaning of one half. The parts of a fraction have mathematical names. The top of the fraction is called the numerator. The bottom of the fraction is called the denominator. And the fraction line itself has a name. This is known as the vinculum. Another way of writing one half would be to write the division sum 1 divided by 2. Here the division symbol itself has a name. This is the obulus. Time should be given as progression step 3 to explore fractions in great depth. The terminology of fractions, the calculations associated with fractions, the different ways of interpreting a fraction. The understanding of fractions is crucial to a lot of the mathematics that follows in progression steps 4 and 5. The second statement on the slide about understanding the inverse relation between the denominator of a fraction and its value is about being able to compare the size of any two fractions. In research carried out by Dolan William, 14-year-olds in England were asked to select the largest fraction out of the following pairs. 90% of the students were able to correctly determine the larger fraction in the first pair and to state that 5 sevenths is greater than 3 sevenths. 75% of the responses to the second question were correct. These students correctly stated that 4 fifths is greater than 3 quarters. What about the final question? Have a go yourself to begin with. Which is larger, 5 sevenths or 5 ninths? In the research, only 15% of the responses to this question were correct. It is tempting here to say that because 9 is greater than 7, then 5 ninths is greater than 5 sevenths. However, the opposite is true. 5 sevenths is actually the greater fraction. This is what our achievement outcome states. Students need to understand the inverse relation between the denominator of a fraction and its value. In other words, if the denominator of a fraction increases, as it does here, from 7 to 9, then the value of the fraction decreases. Again, time should be made in the new curriculum to really embed this idea and develop learners with deep conceptual understanding of fractions.